Hey guys, it's Jess. I'm going to go on and show you all around our master bedroom. Um, a lot of the stuff that I used in here was very affordable and it's just all about avoiding clutter and how you arrange things. Uh, just that makes the biggest difference in the world. So I'm going to go around and show you what we've got in here and how much it costs and where it came from. And I'll be sure to link whatever I can in the, in the description box. Um, and feel free if you have any questions or anything let me know um, I am going to do my fall decorating probably tonight or tomorrow and I'll go on and get that up too so be sure to look out for that but for now let's go on and get started okay this is what you see when you first walk in our bedroom my baby is napping there on the bed so hopefully I'll be able to get this done pretty quick um, my inspiration for this room was our wedding day we got married at the bluegrass wedding barn so i really wanted it to feel like our wedding day so i'm just going to kind of go around here real quick and show you what i've got going on and then we'll get into where everything is from and how affordable it was and all that good stuff so we can start here on the left this um dresser i just found online it was posted on the facebook marketplace um, a flea market had it for 250 dollars, brand new it's huge and we were in such a bit desperate need for a dresser we were sharing a single dresser and it was way too crowded and a mess so i'm so happy i found this Highly recommend looking on Facebook Marketplace or flea markets for big furniture pieces like this because that is such a good deal. This distressed candlestick came from Kohl's and this is just a battery operated candle. You can find those anywhere. Um, this was a gift for Christmas last year. My secret Santa at work picked that out for me and I love it so much. This is also from Kohl's, and I took different things from our wedding and put them in here. Um, you can see white tissue paper I used just to make it look full. Um, but I've got my garter. This flower was off of our wedding cake. One of my really good friends, who was also a bride maid in the wedding, had this made for me. That is Blue's Boutonniere, and our wedding favorite and I've got a couple flowers and things in there so this is very special to me and I just really love the way that turned out so I keep it here on my side of the dresser and then I found this candle holder at Big Lots in the clearance section it was like eight dollars and I've just got a little white candle in there this picture frame came from Walmart it is antique looking and distressed and cheap, which is all of my favorite things. Um, you can see in the picture here, the drapes that were right um, as you walk into the barn doors at the wedding. And I put this big piece of sheer fabric my granny found from Goodwill up here and made kind of a canopy for our bed. I've just got that hanging up there with command hooks. So that is what inspired the canopy up there above our bed. Um, this candlestick here is from Big Lots. It was in the Halloween decorations a couple years ago. It was a metallic orange color. It was really ugly, but it was super cheap. I think it was seven or eight dollars and I just painted it myself made it look a lot better and you would never know it was that ugly ugly orange color before so I did that and then as of right now we've got our baby's pack and play in here this just makes our lives a whole lot easier um, when we do diaper changes in the middle of the night so we've got that and then I've got two canvases from Shutterfly that have pictures from our wedding in here. Highly recommend using Shutterfly. You can get such good deals on canvases and they always have free stuff. I've got um, the same curtains I have in my living room in here. These are from Walmart. 
and the curtain rods are from Hobby Lobby. I paid like $12 for those. The lamps, the end tables, and the lanterns are all from Burke's Outlet. I paid like $30 a piece for the lamps, so I got two for the price of one. The uh, tables were 50, a little over $50 a piece, and I really wanted a drawer so we could hide our remotes and everything in there. And it, that just makes the room look a lot cleaner and neat and organized. Um, the lantern, I don't remember how much I paid for that. And then you can see my um, phone charger over here, that blue stole. I got that at Big Lots. It's really long and it's a turquoise blue color. So just in case you're looking for a good phone charger. This comforter came from Walmart. I love it so much it just looks so comfy and cozy and then the ottoman here is from tj maxx i wanted one that had storage in it so this opens up and i've got all of our dvds in there every once in a while i get in the mood to watch a movie so i just keep all that stuff hidden in there and you would never know you could also throw blankets or i think i do have extra pillows in there too um, these two pillows came with our couch. This one is from another comforter set that I got from Walmart. I just use it all the time. This pillow here is from At Home. And then all of those pillows up there are from a comforter set I got from Kohl's. Our bed I found on Wayfair, I believe. And it was... $300 and it's a king size bed. It's really big and really nice. So it's such a good deal. I'll be sure to link that if I can find it. I know it was sold out when I tried to link it before, but I'll check again and be sure to let you all know. Our monogram up here is from Etsy and this is what we used for the guest book at our wedding. So everyone signed that. It's very special to us. I've got it hanging up there. And then this is my side of the bed. We've got exactly the same thing on this side. And then some baby stuff over here. The cradle was the same cradle I used when I was a baby. We just painted it a light gray. And then um, his docker tot we bought used. That is uh, something that saved a ton of money because those are so expensive. Um, this door goes into our master bathroom, and these doors were made by my husband. We found a plan on Pinterest, and he built those, and you can see all the holes. I haven't filled them in or painted over them yet. I was too excited when he got those finished. I just wanted him to go on and put them up, but one day I am going to work on that. And then I've got two of these little boxwood wreaths. They're real, and they're from Kirkland's. I paid like $16 for those, which is kind of expensive, but I really liked the size of them and how they looked, so I've got them in here. And then another picture from our wedding. You can see the barn door there, um, which is what inspired these barn doors. And then this mirror, it's a full-length mirror I got from Kirkland's. It was $100, but I had coupons, and I actually ordered it to be picked up at the store instead of having it shipped to my house, so that saved some money, too. I ended up getting this for, like, $75, and they do still have it, so I'll link that for sure. And then my mantle here I found um, during a festival. I went in a... A furniture store and I saw this antique mantle we asked about the price because it didn't have a tag on it and when he said $60 I had my husband load it up immediately and I brought this home and I'm so glad I found it I love it it's naturally distressed and just beautiful if you ask me some people may think it's hideous but I love it um, in our wedding venue, in the bridal suite, it actually had a mantle as well. So that is another way I brought our wedding day into our bedroom. Um, this antique window 
Blue's grandpa actually gave me that. It was um, a window he got out of an old house. And I've got a hook there. Sometimes I hang wreaths up there, but right now I've just got this metal piece that I repainted and this garland that you can find in the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. And then on top here, I've got these candle holders um, and flowers from our wedding. And then this picture frame is from Kohl's. That picture is a photo shoot we did um, for our one year anniversary here on the land we built we bought to build our house before we'd started building and then this s was at our table for the wedding i got that at marshall's years ago another picture frame from kohl's my hosanna revival bible that i'm in love with i just thought it looked really pretty setting up there next to my chair and i found this online from walmart i looked for an accent chair forever i tried tj maxx and burke's outlet and um home goods and all kinds of places i could never find one that i liked that was an affordable price until i found this one um and it comes in a dark gray but i got this cream color to do like a contrast since our walls are so dark in here. Our paint color, if you're wondering, is Dovetail by Sherman Williams. But anyway, this chair, uh, I love it. It's super comfortable. It looks nice. And I've got a furry blanket from TJ Maxx on there. And that pillow I found at Kohl's, it was on clearance and it's got pearls on it. And my jewelry in the wedding, I wore some pearl earrings and bracelets. So. That is another way um, our wedding is in the room. And then this picture my sister took on her phone on my wedding day, and I fell in love with it. She liked to do photography and stuff on the side, so um, she was just playing around and took this picture with her phone, and I got it printed out. And I love that picture frame. It matches the mirror in here. So, um, I am so happy with the way this wall turned out. And then my ceiling fan. Um, Blue wanted a fan in here and I really wanted a chandelier and then I just happened to come across this and I'm so glad I did because it's like the best of both worlds. I'm gonna get up close so you can really see how pretty it looks. Um, in our wedding venue, there were a couple chandeliers, so it was really important to me to find one, and I love this, and I love that we still have a fan, because I like to have a fan, too, when I'm sleeping, so, um, I will link that as well, but this is our master bedroom, um, some ways we keep it organized and looking nice, and, um, I'm going to definitely do my fall decorating either tonight or tomorrow, so hopefully I'll have that posted very soon, so be sure and look out for that. Until then, I'll see you all next time. Bye!